say, fuck Sally Mae. Okay, 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 I don't give a fuck. That's just how I do it. Sally Mae's a bitch, she be raping all the students. She giving a loan, guess it's just a hobby. Then collect the money. Hey guys, so I just received an email. I'm gonna redo this video because the second, the first take I did, I felt like I was not informative enough. Um, so here we go. Let's do it again. And I know I'm doing it this way, but this is the only way for me to be able to read the email and simultaneously record at the same time. If you don't know what the fuck simultaneously means. <laughs> so, okay. Anyway, let's start this video real quick. I want to make this short and sweet and uh, pretty much touch some bases on some things I just uh, want to talk about real quick on the student loan situation. I recently received a comment regarding my student loan videos. Um, one of the um, young ladies, I believe it was uh, a couple days ago, hit me up and said, hey, you know, what's going on with your student loan situation? Can you do an update video? What's up? So here's my update. So I haven't done shit when it comes to any of this paperwork anymore because I feel like I already did enough. I showed you guys the paperwork that I started filling out and I haven't even submitted it and it's been a year in February this coming up month. Um, reason being is something told me like don't even bother. They already know what's up. They already know what's going on. Like I'm over here frustrated as shit. I'm about to be in tears trying to get these damn student loans removed and taken, um, taken care of. And so I just kind of put a halt to it. I was trying to also help my boyfriend in the process with his too because he did attend Everest College as well. And um, he only attended briefly, and so he's only about $2,000 in debt, from what I can remember. Um, he's right now paying some of it off or whatever, and um, I tried helping him out, but he's stubborn. You know, men, they just want to just do their thing. I got my way, let him do his thing, you know what I mean? Um, other than that, you guys, I recently received an email from the Federal, federal Student Aid um from the office of the U.S. Department of Education regarding my um, borrower, my, I can't pronounce this, <laughs> Bow, borrower defense application. I submitted it and I believe it's on their website, the Federal Student Aid website. If you guys don't know that website, I'll link it below. And so I'll read you guys some of the email real quick. That's why I'm doing it in this mode so I can view the email at the same time. It said, Dear Ruth, a federal district court has preliminary stopped preliminarily stopped the U.S. Department of Education, Ed or we, from collecting on William D. Ford Federal Direct Loan, uh, Direct Loan Program Loan, or loans held by certain Corinthian Colleges Incorporated, Corinthian borrowers. You are receiving this email because a review of our records indicates that you are affected by the court order as a borrower with a, a pending borrower defense to loan repayment, also known as borrower defense or defense to repayment application. This is the application I was telling you guys to fucking fill out. I'm so serious. This is the application that got me going. I filled out two applications. The first video, I think I might have spoken about my student loans. I talked about one application that was one way, and then this is a secondary way. I was not playing. This is an email. This is from, I think I submitted this email or this um, application like a year or so ago, and I'm getting t uh, heard from now. So this was sent out January 11th of this year, 2019. It is 20, <laughs> it is January 24th today. So it's been some days. So you guys have to understand stuff like this takes time. You cannot expect to hear back immediately. Okay. Don't get all butt hurt because there's a lot of people ahead of you. If not, even there's people before you too, before and after you, whatever. So you need to understand stuff like this takes time. I know it sucks. It's like losing weight. You got to be patient. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm in the middle of trying to do too. But I'm telling you, baby, just submit the application. And I'm telling you, you're going to hear back. It's going to take some time. I mean, I know there's people that are probably $50,000 or more so in debt. I was $21,000 plus in debt. Now, I think I'm, I have like about $11,000 or so, $12,000 in it, that are being kept up. Somebody's paying my shit is what's going on because I haven't paid a dime on my student loans for at least eight years. Feel me? For at least eight years. I got my student loans wiped, half of them wiped. I think I made a video explaining that, that they got wiped and they got closed, basically. I only know this because I went to my Credit Karma, and I'm not sponsored by them by any means. I went them to them because they do provide both. I believe it's um, they uh, Experian, and I always forget the other one, Experian and the other one, and they provide you your credit report, and at the bottom, it shows you what accounts are closed, and some of my student loans were among them. So let me read some more of this, uh, this, uh, this email as well. 
and says the pre uh, preliminary uh, injunction order was issued. Uh, it's pronounced Manriquez versus Devo. Um, and it provides numbers, a case number, I believe it is. A case is currently stayed pending appeal in the U.S. District Court for the Northern District of California. The case involves a challenge to a uh, methodology Ed used to calculate the amount of loan discharge for certain Corinthian borrowers. The order applies to persons who submitted uh, attestation and general application forms for borrower to defend, for, for, yeah, it says borrow for defense, to loan repayment discharges on the basis of Ed findings. So basically, it's just stating that, you know, what this is all about. This email is just stating what it's all about and what um, the application I submitted is going to get me involved in, I guess, in a sense. Um, from It says, Heal College, Everest, Wyotech campuses were uh, misrepresented job placement rates for certain programs, which is true. Um, I Dude, I still remember that bitch's name that got me involved in it. The the advisor, her so-called, the so-called advisor. I still remember this bitch's name and I can't stand her. Ugh, it's like a fucking scar. You know what I mean? Like a scar in my body that I can just never get rid of. Um, so basically, it's just telling me like they're getting at me about this whole, um, they're basically telling me they're getting at me about this whole uh, student loan to repayment I'm refusing to pay any money, and that's not what's going to happen. I'm not paying them a dime at all. I haven't paid them for about eight years, if not longer. Um, if you guys want to know more about the website that I applied and got this email from, meaning the process when I got to get into this, to getting to this email, I will link it below again. You guys need to watch my other videos if you want to know more. And I, I, I speak a little bit more in depth in, in um, that certain videos that I speak about these student loans. Um, I even did a live video just to show, I think, the paperwork that I found. Because there's there's a lot of different paperwork out there. I'm trying to kind of cut the cut the bullshit out and give you guys the actual real deal of how I went about going um, to getting to this level of getting this email. This email means there's progress. And progress is always good on my book. It doesn't matter how slow or how fast this shit's going to go. But I, I think it's just progress. And them, them acknowledging me about this lawsuit that they're, you know... Um, there are copies of the lawsuit. Um, I believe the lawsuit was, uh, looks like the preliminary injunction, uh, was set. It looks like May 25th of 2018. So you guys, if you guys want to check it out on this, uh, this application that I submitted to get to this point, I'll link it below. Once again, I'm going to say that again. And other than that, um, I think that's pretty much it clarifies an update, I guess, for you guys to know what's up with my situation on these student loans and shit. Like I said, I haven't paid a dime and don't intend to because I feel like I shouldn't have to pay a dime for an education I didn't fucking get and an education that was misrepresented. So if you guys feel the same way, more power to you because a lot of people will start making comments and calling you lazy and all kinds of stupid fucking names. And me personally, you know what? I'm not lazy. I know I'm not. Okay? I refuse to get... It hooked into some bullshit I didn't sign up for because I didn't sign up to get misled. I didn't get signed up to be told a bunch of fucking lies and I didn't get signed up to get janky ass equipment that was half assed used damn near. I mean, y'all gave me equipment that was not really usable. How can I use my essential oils and half of them aren't even there? They're evaporated. They're gone. They look like they've been used. They look like they've been sitting in a fucking warehouse for God knows how long. My massage chair, or my massage chair, my massage table was like some janky ass bullshit too. It was not even some expensive -y type one at least. You know what I mean? Like it was, it looked like some $50 table and it was cheap looking. Um, and I'm paying how much money for my education to go with you guys? Like, Eighteen thousand, nineteen thousand dollars? Fuck no, hell no! I was misled and told a lot of things when it comes to me going to this institute, this so-called institution about um getting my education on, and you know, are you tired of sitting on the couch and this and that? And I'm like, you know what? Yes, I am. I'm tired of sitting on my damn couch. And now I'm like, I'm sick and tired of having these fucking student loans because I know I didn't get what the fuck I wanted when I went to that damn school. So guess what? Fuck that. We're fighting this shit. Fight this shit. Fuck everybody else. If everybody else wants to have a problem with you trying to go this way that I'm going to, they're dummies. If they want to get stuck with the student loans, that's their business. You feel me? But on that note, you guys, stay cool. Make sure you stay educated. Make sure you do your research. And I'll go ahead and link all this shit below for you guys. I will see you guys later. Okay, okay, okay.